Hello everybody, I will be making Ham Nations in Blender. Now, I will only do the head in this video since uh, it takes a while. And the head is probably the hardest part because of the, the hair. The hair will be very hard. So, I started off by making a simple sphere and I, uh, I turn on texture mode. And what I do is I make, uh, I look at the photo and I, I make the, uh, the back hair. I call it the back hair because it's, uh, just another sphere, just yellow. After I make the back hair, I start work on the other parts of the hair. But first I must texture the, uh, back hair. The back hair wasn't in a good position, so I keep on trying to move it around until I find the right position for it. Next, I look at the curves of the back hair. Once I have it positioned in the way I want, I start working on the top hair. Still didn't look perfect though. There's a couple things that I need to change. At this point I had enough and I just started to work on the other parts of the hair. I didn't know what to use so I just used a simple cube. I was planning on subdividing it later anyways. I try to get the shape on the hair where it starts out flat, but then on the uh, left side, or I guess right side, um, it kind of hangs over. Now I just start moving everything around, trying to find the right place for everything. I'll just skip forward to when the hair is in the positions that I want. Here, I finally have mostly everything in the places that I want. Now it was time for just adjusting everything. And I was going to add the little, uh, kind of straps of hair later, as I'm doing right now. And his hair on the left side kind of curves upwards. So I was trying to replicate that here. I didn't know how it should look. So I just kept on messing around with it until I found what I wanted. Here, I subdivided it. Now, next up was adding the eyes. I just took the head, shrinked it, and uh, just made the eyes. I had to change the color to black also. What I did to make the eyes more, uh, I guess, overly, was I just um, scaled them upwards. Now, I had to find the correct position for the eye. His eye was kind of behind the hair. I tilted it upwards, and then I just du duplicated it. It's looking a lot more like him now than it was before. Now I had to add the mouth. The mouth would be the hardest part because I am terrible at them. I have no idea what to do for them. So here, I just kind of winged it. I was hoping that when I subdivide it, it would uh, become a natural shape. And it wouldn't be so boxy. Test 
it, I did subdivide it. And what I saw was that it still looked kind of bad. So I had to move some things around. Mostly those two corners. Scaled them outwards, and that pretty much fixed the problem. But there's these weird two extruding vertices that were really annoying. So I moved those back inwards. Now that the mouth shape was done, and I was very proud of it, I could add the tongue and the... What's it called? Kind of back of mouth? So yeah, this took a while to make, so I'll just skip forward to when I finally figure it all out. Now that I'd finally added the mouth, I could uh, adjust it. There's this weird yellow thing in the way, so I just moved the mouse ar mouth around it until it blocked it. Just subdivide the mouth. And with that, our head is done. Make sure to like and subscribe, and next, we'll do the body.